What's going on there guys? Good afternoon. Well, good evening here actually along the west coast. It's the Earthmaster uh, with an update video on this beautiful Thursday evening about 7.11 p.m. Uh, June 9th, 2022 is the date. A little activity ramping up here throughout the globe uh, over the course of the last 12 hours or so. We've seen some movement off the coast of the Baja California region. Uh, and also off the coast of Northern California as well. Seen a little bit of movement up and down the uh, plate boundary there of the North American and Pacific plate. Let's go ahead and check out activity around the map here real quick. See what we got going on far as activity goes. USGS did come in with a 4.2 off the coast of Baja California. This originally uh, uh, came in on the EMSC model. I, I think it was a 4. Point, well, it may have been a 4.2. But uh, it took the USGS a little while to pick up on that earthquake. Uh, also some movement up here off the coast of Northern California where we've seen a 3.8 come in uh, into the area right around the southern end of the Cascadia Megathrust zone. And uh, of course we had some activity last night further upstream up north off the Cascadia on the Blanco Fracture Zone earlier where we've seen that uh, 2.8. Pacific Northwest looks relatively quiet aside from some microquakes. Uh, looks like right around the Mount Rainier area. Uh, some movement up here in Northern California just coming in as well. Likely California. I've actually never heard of that town. Um, north of Moon Lake, Tule Mountain. Uh, south of Alturas. Haven't really seen too much earthquake activity up here in the northeastern section of the state. But uh, 2.0 coming in there. A uh, pretty shallow earthquake, about one kilometer or so. Uh, got some movement kicking up here around Nevada as well, including a 3.0 near Mina, Nevada. That activity from uh, earlier today. Uh, let's see what else we got. Uh, overall, it looks like general seismic activity has been on the increase throughout the state uh, as a whole. There's no specific main areas uh, for swarming at the moment. Just a couple... Um, uh, spotty areas that are kind of increasing in activity uh, throughout the day today. Salton Sea area did see one earthquake, um, 1 1.5 at 3.2 kilometers. And I think this all plays a part on the activity that we're seeing on a broader scale out here uh, with the North, uh, North American and Pacific plate boundary. Uh, just getting a lot of activity as a whole along the western coast. Uh, throughout uh, Yellowstone, looks like we had a little bit of activity today up there including a 2.0, the latest Yellowstone overview map. Let's go ahead and bring that up. Uh, doesn't show a whole lot. Uh, looks like some of that activity was mostly confined up here to the north, uh, northern region of Yellowstone National Park. There's some of that microquake activity. Uh, but aside from that, no major swarming going on. And that's just a little spotty activity that the USGS is reporting on. Uh, Texas earthquakes this morning kicking up. Not a whole lot throughout the afternoon. And we did have one new Madrid zone uh, earthquake there, 1.8. Uh, that was late last night. Since then, not a whole lot going on throughout the eastern part of the country. Uh, still seeing some activity north of Puerto Rico and south of St. John's here. Uh, looks like a this 4.3 came in uh, earlier this afternoon, somewhat deep. We have been noticing a little trend of uh, deep earthquake activity up here on the Puerto Rico Trench in the past couple days. So kind of watching that area pretty closely. Over here around the Cypress area, this 5.0 coming in uh, within the last hour, 45 kilometers just south of Turkey. Aside from that, I've uh, seen a couple spotty earthquakes out through the uh, Italy area and then uh, working our way back here to the east. Uh, of course, China had some uh, pretty good, large, not super large scale, but uh, a little swarm of activity, including an upper five there earlier this afternoon time frame couple fours since then. Um, not a whole lot going on through the western portion of the Pacific Ring of Fire or the southwestern. So got to watch these quiet zones pretty closely. Right now kind of looks like the activity confined over here to the eastern section. Uh, and right now kind of at a pause I believe here along these plate boundaries uh, to the west and southwest area. Uh, trimmer map tonight along the uh, Cascadia shows about 52 epicenters of trimmer some up around Seattle and a little bit outside of Medford, Oregon here. Uh, so not a big number, just a little activity kind of kicking up throughout the uh, the day. A little bit of trimmer activity. 
looking at the latest recorded live stream here uh, recorded data on the seismogram viewer of Mount St. Helens. We'll wait here. There we go. A uh, little activity kicking up here within the last couple hours. Not a big deal. Uh, just some very small microquakes and throughout this morning and afternoon time frame uh, as we wait for it to pop up here. Let's see. There we go. Again, not, not a whole lot going on. Looks like it may be dying off a little bit. There's a little handful of quakes, uh, but very small at that. Um, still showing up there on the seismograph, but uh, nothing being reported there from the USGS. So, all right, guys, I'm going to make this just a quick update. So, hope everyone has a great night. Uh, of course, if anything changes here, we're getting major events going on. Uh, no doubt we will jump on here and uh, provide an update. Uh, but for now, I think with the pause in activity um, along the western Pacific here, got to watch certain areas along the eastern uh, side of the Pacific plate. That includes the western states. Uh, down here in New Zealand, seeing a little activity, a couple threes kicking off there. South of the North Island area, uh, that activity fairly recent, uh, so might want to watch that as well. All right, guys, have a great night. We will chat to you a little bit later. Looks like a little earthquake on the uh, Leah Permanent Station there in Hawaii. Of course, that's part of the ongoing swarm uh, that shows up quite often there on that live seismograph. Have a good night, guys. We'll chat to you a little bit later. Stay safe.